Welcome in to the best Yahoo Finance app tutorial and review on YouTube. After this tutorial is done, if you watch the whole way through the video, you will have a clear cut understanding on how to comfortably and confidently use the Yahoo Finance app. Now it's a good app. It's got really good reviews in the app store, currently rated a 4.7 out of five. So let's see if it lives up to the hype by breaking down the five favorite features that I saw when I broke down this app critically and then transmit that knowledge into you. Now, if you like this tutorial, please take a look into the channel. We review the top finance apps on the app store to help you up your game. Now let's get right into it. The first and best thing about the Yahoo Finance app is you get to directly link your existing broker through Yahoo Finance. And that's perfect because you don't have to manually enter in your trades and that would just get crazy and really, really inefficient for your time. And how you do that is right here on the home screen in the Yahoo Finance app. You'll go into lists and select this option right to the right of your list tab. And in this first feature, you're going to hit link account. It's a simple two-step process. I invest with Fidelity, so I'll tap the Fidelity broker continue on to the page and while I won't do it in this next screen right here it's as simple as entering your username and password that you use through your broker the rest is done on the back end it syncs up automatically and right here with a simple refresh your total holdings will appear on that page and what's better if you're in the rare case where you use maybe one two or three brokers you can continue to link your brokers just taking that same feature the three dots right to the right of list continuing into linking your account and it will add them right one two three in a row in this home page and it'll show you your total holdings value right here mine's currently at forty thousand four hundred and sixty one after a pretty good day in the market but you'll be able to see all of yours right there and consolidated cleanly for you on your home page now the one negative about this is when you come into the yahoo finance app you may have to refresh and hit a little recycle button. It can get a bit annoying after a bit of time, but it's nothing too major. I like how they consolidate it. Feature number two, let's go into these individual holdings breakdown. A simple tap on your account will do that. And you've got two really main tabs that you'll be looking for here. Basic, which breaks down the percent gain and lost throughout your holdings in the day. And then a nice little detailed tab here what's very convenient for you in this app and i like the interface overall is let's click on apple you can head right to apple's stock page go into a number of key statistics look at a chart breakdown see how the app see how the apple stock has done over time and it's all very very simple so you're able to do your research check into your holdings and find out the core information for your current profile your current stock account right in front of your face it's very very easy let's head back to the home tab and show you what a lot of investors are going to need their mobile app to do for them and that's individual stock research feature number three right in front of them we'll go and investigate everybody's favorite dividend payer o shares and right here there's a number of different features that i think you're really going to like in here it's a very smooth page the first is going to be scrolling down of course you've got the basic features the range 52 week range intraday range dividend beta information right down here but you're going to scroll down and yahoo finance gives you access to a number of analyst takes and features that i think are really beneficial now i'll scroll sideways to the right through a few of them here as you can see the argus research recommends o shares as a buy but the trading central valuation recommends that the app that the stock is overvalued right now so you're going to have to do your own research but it's good to get these opinions and investment ideas from the app one thing that i really like is going to the details page you can get a target price from analysts and this is all free you don't have to pay for the premium upgrade in yahoo finance again we just passed the financial earnings revenue and earning breakdown which is very very nice to see Analyst recommendation and right there, O'Shares has a price target averaged out by analysts to be $69.93. Now, you might say, hey, I'd like to compare some stocks. Of course, I'm considering buying. So how can I do my research to compare st stocks? Let's go into Delta Airlines right here and we'll expand the chart. This 
super convenient feature that's all possible on the mobile app. Let's go out a little bit more in the year to date range. You'll just tap this plus sign, add comparisons. Let's do Southwest Airline ticker symbol LUV and get that right on right on in there beside it. Now Delta and Southwest have very, very different prices and Yahoo Finance makes it simple and easy by giving you side-by-side -side percentile comparison. So as we can see, based on our selected time range of year to date, since the beginning of 2020, Delta Airlines has dropped in blue by 60.28%, whereas Southwest has only gone down 36.46%. So that right there is a simple, easy way for you to get in and compare your stocks in the research process that you guys take. Now, what would the point of an app be if you couldn't find your stock and then go in and buy it? Well, if you've gone through the first step and linked your brokerage account, feature number four that I'm very, very impressed with is the ability to purchase a stock automatically. Let's go into Apple right here and all you're gonna wanna do is go to see your individual holding and hit trade. This is so simple and I like the extra security feature so if you leave your phone lying around, your kids or somebody can't just grab your phone and purchase what potentially could be a really expensive investment for you without you knowing. You're gonna authorize that fingerprint to get in and it's already got your account linked in just two taps, one share of Apple, preview, and now I'm not going to submit this because this is not an investment I'm prepared to make at the moment, but you would just tap the submit order button and through your brokerage, Yahoo Finance gets in, does the legwork on their app, and is able to process that transaction for you. What a simple, easy, and just sensible feature to have in this app. Our last and final step, and something that's not a critical game breaker for me, but is pretty cool if you're into investigating and looking for new stocks, is this explore tab right here. They have a few pre-curated lists, as you can see, cannabis stocks, the Berkshire Hathaway portfolio, uh, we've got the China internet, sinful stocks, etc., etc. And what I really like that you can do is sort by uh, your top performers. You can expand those and see all, and it'll show you what categories of stocks did really well today and what didn't. So, for example, in here, in their sinful stocks curated list for you, it shows you all of these companies and easily you can go in and do your research search to see which fits your investing needs. So through those five steps, those were my five top features. I'll give you a brief look into the news tab, which in a negative sense does have a few ads sprinkled in there, but still is pretty useful if you're looking for a basic place to get your individual investment news connected with specific companies. Markets for the day, you get to check out the different indices as well as Europe and Asia up top and then notifications from time to time. I will get individual price alerts if a stock is really breaking high or really sinking low throughout the day. Usually above 5% price movement, I will get a notification that pops up on my phone, but it's very simple and very easy to turn those off or mute those if you so desire. In conclusion, I think it's a great app if your personal broker's interface isn't so smooth or isn't very nice to look at. Uh, I would not use it if I had the Robinhood app because I like how smooth that interface is, but as a Fidelity customer, I really am going to keep and stay with this Yahoo Finance app. It just does a great job of summarizing my holdings and is quicker to get into, quite frankly, than it is to log in on Fidelity. My best feature is the purchasing right away. I give that a full five stars out of five stars. And then honorary mention to how smooth the interface is. If I had to rate the app, quite honestly, maybe my standards are a little bit lower, but I think it fully deserves the 4.7 out of 5 stars it's got in the App Store. Please let me know what you think of the app in the comments below, and let me know which app in the finance sector you would like me to review next on YouTube. Thank you for checking in.